Hi, I'm Steven Sabato. And I'm Chris Hindeman. Today in Designer Guys, we're going to show you how to transform this into this. Trevor and Alexandra have very specific taste when it comes to decorating, and believe me, they couldn't be more opposite. And they want to create a space to serve two opposing functions. Way at the top of these stairs. The um, original floors, which is actually the subfloor. The first thing we're going to do is get you an elevator. It's a difficult space because it's a dual purpose space. A home office? A home office. Trevor very much wants the office aspect to it, more practical. I'd like to have it obviously one half as an office um, that's very accessible and organized. Okay, so Trevor's big on function. Yes, well, function. I tend to put things down a lot in a lot of places, so I need something that's going to help me organize myself. Home offices are becoming so popular, but the problem is that homes aren't expanding to accommodate these office spaces, so you're putting them in bedrooms, you're putting them in dens. The ideal is to have another part um, of the room that's very much a sanctuary. And then the other half, very uh, relaxed, not too cluttered, not too much congestion, so to speak, so when you come in here, there's still lots of space. I'd like really comfortable Chesterfields. I think there'll definitely be a split personality in this room uh, because we both have to accommodate um, Alexandra's uh, sense of style that she wants it pretty and soft. Um, I definitely know that Trevor wants uh, a little more uh, masculine influence in the room. <laughs> Here we go. Hello. <laughs> Um, I haven't had a lot of time to get to know Trevor and Alexandra uh, regarding their tastes, but I can kind of sense through their personalities that Trevor's probably a little more, um, a little more, uh, who's Trevor? <laughs> probably the most important part would be that um, we don't add all sorts of exorbitant fixtures around the environment. It's more important for me to feel something from a room than it is for Trevor. As long as it's actually aesthetically pleasing, he'll be, he'll be pleased. But for me, it needs to speak a little bit more. We might want to talk to Trevor. <laughs> yeah, we might, yeah. Because I see the banquet that you've done yes. is very pretty. You decorated this little corner here. This is your little jewel. A little portion of it, uh, Alexandra's already decorated. So that already has introduced her theme. Oh, those Filing are cabinets. 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 Oh. Oh, Trevor's nice. side. Trevor. Trevor. And, and Alexander's side. This <laughs> okay. and hers. Perfect. Very organized. This is my idea board. The cork board is something I've always wanted to have to make visual all the ideas that I have going on, whether it be work, whether it be family. So Trevor doesn't fit into this world? Yeah, this, this is does. Alexandra's world. The little corner right there with the sailboats, that's okay, Trevor's that's world, Trevor's right, world there. right there. Oh, right here, okay. But I think it's a place that we want to enjoy um, with together as well as independently. Right, so right. Um, we'll, um, I'd like to, to reflect both of our tastes. I think what we'll do is we'll take them separately. I'll work with her, Stephen will work with him. He'll gather information, I'll gather information, and what we'll do is we'll meet in the middle and see if we can come up with some solutions that works for both of them. I think um, Alexander might have made a mistake in creating that beautiful little gem on the banquette seating, which is absolutely beautifully done, it's coordinated, but then she, I don't think she kept in mind the rest of the room. I don't agree with you. No? No, I think she really started off something that could, we could really work with. Yeah. I wasn't getting him at all. I didn't get any vibes from him. So you and I should probably take the roles of your Trevor. I think you definitely relate probably to Alexandra. Oh, for sure. But we still have to respect the side that it's the home office, right? So there's, that yeah. has to be decorative, but still functional. Yeah. yeah. And then the other side, we'll have then... some fun. This was such a small space. We need to go back to determine what actually would fit up the stairs and into the room. <laughs> What? <laughs> this is really, really narrow. Ooh. Is this one wider than that one? Yeah, I guess We're going to definitely have to check that out. I'm not going to be able to get any furniture up here. OK, you know what? Can you write down 90 inches? Wow, that is big. By, this is standard ceiling height, 8 feet. 
You know what, this, this bulletin board's a really great idea, but it's kind of leaving me a little bit, it's a little ugly, unattractive. Yeah, it's very disorganized. Because if I was sitting over there, and I was looking back over here and saw that wall, I'd be really nervous about what I have to accomplish, what I have to do. If I'm sitting over here and I'm looking at that side, I don't want to be too, too tempted either. Like, no. it's the opposite, you know what I mean? Like, you can't have a big, huge, comfy couch. Yeah. Well, you can, but I'd be wanting to go get on the couch when I'm trying to do my work. Chris Ruby, we have to do something with this stuff here. I'm sure Alexander's going crazy. Um, also, lighting. Yeah, lighting is definitely not a... That's all there is. What do you think of two chairs? No, then you can't... If, For the TV to be TV, here? If the TV's here... But then it's not going to be balanced. We need to have. We need to create some balance here. Balance. Balance. That's not, I mean, that's off balance. I think you're still kind of ignoring that. Well, thing. That's, that's like a couch to me. It's the most comfortable looking space, and it's the biggest piece that's going to be in here. But it's on the office side, though. Not really. It's right in the center. As soon as you hit that desk, your office. I think that's right in the center. The center of the room. Yes. So I think but gather the chairs around that maybe. Or around the banquette. Around the banquette. So then it feels like you've got your central kind of seating area. You've got your relaxation area over here, and then you've got your office area over there. Do we really have that room, though? I think you will, well, if you, you have do something. I mean, we can't bring a couch up here, that's clear. So then something here is gonna have to be on wheels so that you can spin if you want TV here. Do you want beauty, or do you want practical? Practical. I think beauty. <laughs> you think like Alex, I think like Trevor. Concerns. <laughs> I don't really know what direction to go in. He wants the gentleman's den, she wants the, you know, maybe the French room. I think there's also a ton of other factors. A, it's an attic, you know, it's, uh, it's not well lit, the staircase. No, oh, that's the big concern. And neither one of them are being specific enough about the look of the room to make it easy for us. So we've really got to pull information from them. That's true, because they're also the type of people that are very accommodating. Which you think would make it easier for us, but it really doesn't. In actuality, we just are left up in the open and we can, we can go anywhere. So Which we, then it doesn't reflect them. Exactly. We're shopping for Trevor and Alexandra's fabrics, and I found a fantastic one for Alexandra. But I'm just trying to get Stephen convinced about this one, hey? It's cotton voile. It'll work drapery, um, an overlay, cushion overlay. Now, Christopher, I know you want to give Alexandra pretty, but I want to give Trevor a little bit of masculine here. We call it bow ties. Oh, it's gorgeous. Bow ties. See, I don't know if Trevor's into bow ties. I don't think this is that feminine. I, I don't, I, you know, I think we can use it and it'll appeal to both of them. Look at the green in here. Our color scheme that we have to work with, yellow, green, and the dusty rose. Trevor's not gonna like dusty rose. No. And... But the green, I think the green is... Well, the green is great. Green is a great crossover color between masculine and feminine. Do you have something in a green, maybe like a, a denim, a brush twill, a cotton, something yeah. Meatier, heavier. Absolutely. We have a brush twill in many different colors, including this green. Just around the corner. All right. We're getting this fabric. Hmm. I mean, it, I think it works within our color scheme. Oh, it's perfect, actually. But uh, do you think, what do you think of this? This is a silk? This is the Dupioni silk. I think this will be great, actually. It's got, um, it's got the green in it. It's got, uh, actually, you know, quite a variation of greens in there. And it's plaid, so it's fabulous. So it's the masculine and the masculine print with the feminine... Fabric, perfect. Right, you know what? I still want to use this. I'm not letting it go. Well, <laughs> we're not. Look at me. I'm hanging on to it, clutching this. <laughs> we love to see. We'll yeah. get a nice big clipping of this okay. so we can yeah. show Trevor this one. You know, I think both of them are like that. But yeah, you know what? Table, table. So, what were the dimensions for this table? Um, I'm thinking a little over six feet long. Right. So you got a nice surface and two feet wide. And then underneath, we have to have her books, her stereo, her, functional things. her, you know what I mean? So that they can just pull up this, this whole flap, which is this, right? Yeah, this is what the table's going to be done in, right? That's trim, so this isn't that's idle. No, that's trim. That's trim that's for trim. this for That's this trim, but you know, see, this is what I want to do. I'm not really sure, you know what, that uh, this is going to really work as the trim. Like, you know what, maybe it will. I just need to, you know, I mean, is that just getting too, no, I like that. Trevor has a masculine sensibility. He likes rich woods and things with a sense of history. And Alexandra has very feminine taste, so we focus on shape and style. What do you think of these? Oh, well, I feel like I'm on an airplane. <laughs> First class all the way. We gotta measure this, Stephen. No, we have the measurements. We have the measurements? Yeah, right there. Oh, write them down. Trevor would love this. Look at with the little the side rail. One for Alexandra and one for Trevor. But yeah, definitely this for Trevor. Because it's more definitely. masculine. But well, number yeah. one, I'm not, if it fits up the space, that's one thing. But you know what? In the room, it's so long 
that it's gonna, you know, when you open the door, it's gonna be, the back of it's gonna be right there. So then why don't we switch it? So this is closer to the television, hers is closer to the door. I think this is gonna be very big in the space. And it's gonna be really quite big. So you're thinking two of these? Two of these, I mean, this is very masculine. Yeah, but it has all those sort of scrolly little. Oh, that's, I mean, look at it, the, the weaves no, I mean, and the it... wood, it's so masculine. Yeah. You're not convinced? No. I'm not real wild about the two different types of chairs in the room anyway. For sure, why not? You're a crazy man. Yeah, you know what I do? I love, absolutely love the rattan, this, oh, this table with, uh, totally working for with me. those chairs. I totally think those are great. We have so much wood in that room. We yeah. need this, the lightness and the airiness of the, uh, of the wrought iron down here. You know what I love about it? It's yeah. a tray, so she can actually great. go up and down the stairs and she can... She's number on. one, the tray is bigger than her. So? At number two, the stairs are, what, 27 inches wide. Check, look at these, Stephen. Stephen, look, look, look. What's that? These lamps, look at them. They're stunning. We need two lamps, the long table, not the office side, but the other side where right. we're gonna do the, the uh, overlay. I think these are too ornate for them though? No way, I think they're rich, think? I mean, they love rich. I think there's a feminine quality to that and then there's a masculineness of the weight. Yeah. So I think it kind of maybe appease both of them. Well, I like the fact that the, uh, the dark shade, I think that'll be nice. Well, that'd be like pop right off the wall. Yeah, true. Pow. Yeah. Alex and Trevor's office space was lacking a bit of organization and their bulletin board, well, it was getting a little bit out of control. So for today's project, essentially what we want to create is a really nice padded bulletin board, which will work with the shelving which we have planned for their space. Now the materials that we'll need for this project are really simple. There's some fabric, some fleece batting, ceiling tiles, a straight edge, a tape measure, a pair of scissors, a utility blade, masking tape, some Velcro, which is self-adhesive, and a glue gun. Now the first thing we want to do is to measure the shelves, which I've already done, and they're exactly 43 and a quarter inches, and I've made my two marks here. Line up the straight edge, and with the utility blade, cut through the ceiling tile. Now you can remove the excess piece of the panel, put that aside, we can clear our work surface now and lay down a piece of fleece batting and make sure it's nice and flat on your work surface. Now lay the panel on top of that and with a pair of scissors cut all the excess trim and this time lay the fabric down on the table making sure that the pattern is face down and this whole board can then go on top of the fabric. So now that the fabric has all been trimmed, we can now start to glue the fabric to the panel. Now to do this, you wanna first put a piece of glue on the panel in the center. Go to the opposite side and attach a piece of hot glue there as well. Now pull that quite tight, and from this point, we'll go on this side in the center and the opposite side in the center again and pull that nice and tight. Now the reason we're going in the centers is because this middle point, the fabric underneath, will be pulled tight. So now that this is all glued in place, you don't have to be too concerned about all the frayed edges on the fabric because we can clean them up with the masking tape like I've done here. Now to adhere the panels to the wall, we'll be using the self-adhesive Velcro. Now for this, the trick is to match the two ends together and with our scissors, cut it to the desired length. And you can peel back one side, exposing the adhesive. And what you wanna do is attach one to each corner. Now from here, you can then peel the backing off of each one of these exposing the adhesive, which will then attach to the wall. Now I know Trevor and Alex are gonna love this system. It not only gives them the padded bulletin board and the shelving to work off of, but the color scheme really works with the room so they don't always feel like they're working. One of our biggest worries was fitting the furniture up the stairs. We'd measured, but one always holds their breath. Not only fit up the stairs, but fit together in harmony in the room. Ooh. Ooh. I 
just finished nailing this large piece of plywood onto these three bookcases to house the television, the stereo, and lots of shelves for magazines. Nada, uh, I'm gonna need your help here. With the... <laughs> okay, I'll wait here. Now I know it's not the best looking unit yet, but it will be transformed with a beautiful slip cover. Steven, Steven, Steven. Oh, come in. Here, we just need to kind of put this. <gasps> Yes. Yes. Okay, let's just put it over oh. here for now. This was really good, but I think we need to get the rug in first. Oh, this is perfect. You know, I think this is really going to appeal to Alexandra because of the soft colors. You know, they're very soft and muted, and I think the faded quality will be a nice, a nice masculine quality for, uh, for Trevor. That looks absolutely incredible. Look at that. Dada, could you bring in the slip cover? Sorry. Beautiful. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to uh, start putting the prints up on the wall, okay? Voila, the slip cover's on and it hides a multitude of sins. Which side do you think Trevor should be on? I think it should go on this side. Do what if we double it as a little side table? Why are these working? Oh, we should just press this up a little bit, Stephen. Yeah, you okay. Think? Um, yeah, maybe let me, put that. Let me hang this up here. Okay. It's more like this, isn't it? Or is it more like this? Would you do it more like this here? What do you think? There and there. Seems too rigid. Prop. You know what? This room is not based on symmetry, and I think that just looks really prop. Do you think we should just sort of take one of those lollipops out of here and. Some? Oh, I think so. You can barely see yourself in that mirror, so... Ooh, I don't like those roses in there. That's actually on the white one, too. Okay, you guys. Okay, guys. Hope, Hope you guys love seconds. it, You're like it, room. love it, anything. Yeah, it's great. I think they've done a fabulous job. It's, uh, it's nice to combine the two areas. It's nice and relaxing. The colors are really quite uh, wonderful. Um, you know, functionally, it's great. So we've got your office area over here, and we've got your relaxation zone on this side. It's 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 cozy, and yet it, it's not dark, or it, it's inspirational at the same time. It's it's really has a lovely feel to it. First, we want to wrap the whole room in a neutral color. That's why we picked the green, so you won't be too edgy while working, and you'll be nice and relaxed. Well, I love in. this. It's not that yours wasn't beautiful. <laughs> we just wanted so to tidy it up and make it a little prettier. So much more elegant, Stephen. As you can see, there's lots of objects around, but uh, they don't sort of consume your mind when you walk in. You were telling us that Trevor liked to have little, little piles. piles. So we thought we'd give you somewhere to put your little piles <laughs> <laughs> in these little boxes here. Keep you a little more organized. Keep Alexandra sane. <laughs> That's the hope, anyway. Exactly. <laughs> and because Alexandra got such a large world there, we gave Trevor yeah, the his here. world here with the boats. Yeah, because we beautiful boats, yeah. Avid yeah. sailor. The old J-boats. Now, even the um, the woods as well, you guys had this custom made, which is absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. So what we did is then we wanted to mix up the woods and go with these nice, dark, rich colors. The room itself, in terms of the furniture, it's not what I have, would have chosen or thought you would have had to have done to make it incredibly comfortable, meaning there aren't fluffy down cushions everywhere. Big fights over the pillows. Christopher wanted this fabric everywhere, but Trevor, I was on your side. <laughs> I thought it was, it, was, it was pretty, but I thought it was nice. I picked this for Trevor. Being a little yes. more masculine, a little, you know. I was really excited about this carpet because I thought it would appeal to both of you, and I hope I'm right. Because of the uh, beautiful soft colors, I thought they were very pretty, just like yourself, and I thought, Oh, this is not going very well. <laughs> and then the faded quality is very masculine, so I thought that would appeal to you as well. So. Am I really? fading out of That's what I meant. <laughs> <doing. laughs> started to move in that direction. That's not what I meant. <laughs> and even as far as the, the furniture, we had a real hard time sort of finding something that's big and comfortable, but not 
heavy looking. Yeah. So that's where we went with the cane, which we thought was nice and airy, yeah. mm -hmm. but still substantial enough to hold the weight of the room. I, I think the chairs are great. I mean, the, the little swinging arm there is uh, <laughs> just what I like to do. I like to put my feet up and, and just hang out. And uh, I'm going to be doing quite a bit of that. And, uh, just mix up the beers to keep it new every time. You've got the best view through the television. <laughs> Trevor can sit and look at the computer. I can't quite do that, but I'm very comfortable. It's nothing like taking a little peek for a ride. <laughs> so what we've decided to do here, basically, is treat the, the banquet area as if it was your couch and pull the chairs in here so it'd be nice for, you know, nice conversation, conversation area in here. And uh, obviously, you had already picked the fabric, so we decided to work with the colors from the fabric. And the fact that there was no way there was any couch coming up over those stairs, believe me, <laughs> it was bad so, enough trying to get these babies up over the stairs. But these are bigger than we thought they were. <laughs> this room didn't really have a, a, a major focal. Yeah. So That's this, true. when you, as soon as you walk in the door, it's like, boom. I think it's a great idea, it's a good concept. And this is a, a nice uh, piece for the end of the room. It ties in all the colors that we have here, and yet it hides all of these sort of the the functional aspects of it. And we picked the movie star theme because we think that you look like movie stars. <laughs> <laughs> and you yeah. even got Paris in there, which is our favorite place in the world. Oh, why is that? Oh, well, because I spent a lot of time there when I was younger and I always wanted to go back with my husband, so we actually did that and had a fabulous picture taken very similar to that. When you conceive of the notion of someone coming in and decorating a room on your behalf, you always wonder if they're going, if you'll get that sense of it being as personal as if, as if you had done it. I think they did a very good job. I'm Steven Sabato. And I'm Chris Hindman. Thanks for joining us. And we'll see you on the next Designer Guys.